In this lesson, we're going to frame out the main body of our backpack. All right, so we've created the top flap for the backpack. Now what we want to do is we want to start to get the rest of it. So to get started with this, let's just choose an edge that we want to use to get started. So normally I like to start out either on the front or on the back and uh, just get going with this. So um, I'm going to pull this polygon out, holding down shift, I'm going to pull it out just a little bit like this, okay? And that's going to create just kind of a little rim uh, that's going to separate the main part of the backpack from the, uh, the top flap here. Then I'm going to hold down shift again, I'm going to drag this down, okay? And just kind of follow along the contour of the border here. And we're going to do this a couple of times, let's do three times, so three polygons here. Now before we go any further, um, let's just do a quick check of our polygons. So I'm going to hit F or F on the keyboard to go to our front view. And I want to straighten these out a little bit. So I'm going to go to my vertex mode. I'm going to select this edge here. And I'm going to hit R on the keyboard. And I'm going to scroll down, holding down the Y axis. And that's just straightening those vertices up. Okay. Now the reason that I want to do this is I just, um, I like to keep this front polygon nice and orderly. And so it just makes things a little bit easier when you're dragging these around. If you have them off at diagonal directions, it can be a little difficult to tell which vertices are which. So now let's go back to um, our left view, hitting L on the keyboard, and let's hit uh, 2 to go to edge mode. You should still have that edge selected there. And let's go to our move tool, hitting W, and let's start to just create the shape of our backpack. So I'm going to hold down Shift, I'm going to drag this out. And it's going to be fairly flat. We're not going to create a bunch of wrinkles or anything like that. We just want to create a nice little shape here. And I'm going to go around the bottom and start to kind of curve that out. And we'll create a couple of polygons here in the middle. And then we'll start to come back up. So I'm going to hold down Shift and drag that up. A couple of polygons for that. And then drag straight up here. And uh, we can create a little bit of shape uh, with this, start coming back into our backpack, and then we're going to create the curve, and we're going to connect right back up here in the bottom. So just like we did before, um, at the very start, we're going to create a little bit of a lip from this edge. So let me hit F3, let's hold down Shift, and let's pull that out, and then back down, and then we'll create that polygon here. We'll just connect those two together. So let's select these two edges and let's bridge. And um, it doesn't look like those bridge together, so you may have to reselect them, hit bridge again, and there we go. So now I like to go to my left view and then go to vertex mode. And then I'll make any changes that I need to to the overall uh, silhouette or the overall form of my object. So I'll come in and I'll start to pull these around, try to get the the polygons to be about the same size. We don't have to be exact or anything like that, but I do want to make sure that every vertex, um, if it's been created, it does change the shape in some way. Okay, so like across the bottom here, we might have a little bit of a gap there. Okay, and we'll just come in and we'll start to shape this up. Now with this one, I'm going to pull this back around to a little bit closer here. And I'll pull that up, back a little bit. And that looks pretty good. We might add a few more edges in here, uh, try and get things matched up a little bit better, but I think we're okay. So let's go to our perspective view and see exactly what we have. So we can see the profile of our backpack. So normally once I've done one strip in this direction, I like to do another strip right down the center on the side to uh, block in that profile shape there. So let's go to edge mode and let's select just this edge right here. That's the one that's right in the center. So we'll go to our front view hitting F on the keyboard and then let's hold down shift and drag that out. Now looking at this, um, we don't necessarily need a lip like we had before. Uh, we're just going to pull that right out from the side of the, the, uh, the backpack here. All right, so go into fr our front view, 
let's hold down shift and let's continue to drag that out and I want to create a nice little curve there and then we'll come in and we'll start to create the main body of our backpack so I'm just kind of pulling these out creating a nice square shape and then we'll get down to the bottom and we'll round out that corner and then we'll come straight across now it looks like we got off just a little bit not that big of an issue let's go ahead and just bridge these two edges though um, really quickly now let's take this edge right here let's pull that over and we'll pull this one over trying to get those polygons to be about the same size uh, right here where they're connected so let's bridge that and hit OK and then I'm going to go to my front view and then let's just go to vertex mode and I'll just start to pull these up and reshape that so that's why I always wait um, until the end to finalize my overall shape and form okay using this method okay because you never know how many you've put in you don't know if they've gotten a little bit smaller um, as they went along so got a nice little shape here let me pull this up just a little bit more okay I'm happy with that shape there uh, looking at this pretty good so we've created the front and the, this, the profile here um, and now all we really need to do just do a quick little inspection over the shape that you have so far make sure that there isn't anything out of the ordinary and then what we're going to do now is we're going to start to um, get rid of these large holes so we've already learned how to do this so if you'll remember uh, we'll just start to create more strips uh, basically just dividing these holes in half okay on the front and the back so let's just work on the front for right now so under edge mode let's select one of these edges right here in the middle and then select one here in the middle and then we're going to use bridge so I'm going to bridge that and I'm going to go ahead and take my settings up and let's do four segments this time as we have a lot more of an area to cover so doing four segments right now should get us fairly close to where we need to be so I'm going to pull those out and then I'm going to go to edge mode and pull that one out just a little bit further make sure that that's nice and round there now at this point we're just trying to get a basic form um, of what we're looking for and then we'll go in and we'll start to refine that so now I have um, I have these polygons that I can start bridging but looking at the way uh, this is going to work it looks like this edge should come up and around and then up over the top to make this easier on us so to do this we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hold down shift and we're gonna drag out these points okay we're gonna do this manually and again this is that polygon modeling uh, method here okay using that edge extrusion pulling out these points and getting exactly what we want out of our shape so I'm going to pull that up and then let's just go to vertex mode and let's start to turn these edges into the direction they're supposed to go or we want them to go I should say and let me pull this one back a little bit okay let's hold down shift and drag that up again and then up in the Y and so I'm just trying to follow along uh, with the contour of my lip here okay the lid of my backpack okay so we'll just try to follow along with that best that we can okay and then hold down shift and drag that up one more time and then I'm going to pull that back even more and then I'm going to take this edge and this edge and let's just bridge those and let's bridge that with just a single polygon and there we go and actually I should have done two because I'm looking right here at this segment and I know that that's going to come down right into here so I'm just going to go ahead and use connect and just pull that up some okay so now we can come in and we can start to reshape uh, this 
set of polygons here. So I'm going to pull those forward, looking at those from the top and trying to get those straight across to where they're pointing right into the border of the backpack. So pull that forward there. And then I believe these are going to be okay down here. Might pull that back just a little bit further. These seem to be okay. Okay, so I've got that loop there. So I've created that specific detail that I needed there. We've we've cut that off. Um, and now all I have to do is start to uh, kind of uh, cut up this hole here. So I could go from this edge down to here. Okay. Or we could just start at one end and start to kind of block that off. Um, either way, we'll be fine. Um, I tell you what, let's do... Let's go to our front view. Let's take this vertex. Let me pull that up here. I think I'm going to split. Well, no, I'm going to leave that alone because I'm looking at where these are going to go. And it looks like I may have places for all of these. Okay. Let's take this edge and this edge. And let's bridge that with a single polygon. And let's see, let's take let's take this um, edge right here, let's take it out. So I'm going to hit control and backspace to remove that. And let's take these two edges and let's bridge those. And let's use the settings and then take that segment up to two. Hit OK and then grab that edge in the middle and just pull that out until it touches right at that point. Now it's not welded so we need to go to vertex mode and select those two vertices and hit weld and that should weld those together but it's still saying two vertices selected so let's go to our weld settings and bump up our threshold until it says um, 211 after 212 here so we know that that's merged into one after we hit OK now it's saying that we have vertex 211 selected and again that vertex right there um, whenever it says vertex and then a number, that's the vertex ID. That's not how many vertices you have selected. So if I have multiple vertices selected, it's going to say two vertices or uh, 20 vertices selected. Okay, either way. All right, so then let's take this edge right here and this edge. Let's quickly bridge those with one setting or one polygon. And then here I'm going to use that cap and cut method. So select this cap, go to vertex mode, we're going to right click and cut. And we'll cut from here across to here. And then I'm going to cut from here across to here. And then we'll cut from here down to here. Now again we have one of those uh, those triangles there. So we'll have to figure out a way to um, to get rid of that. So I believe what I can do is I can make some room and have that loop come right across the top here. So let's select these two edges and or these three edges, excuse me, and let's use connect. And then we'll go to vertex mode. I'm just going to pull that across there. So now we have this loop that's coming down. So that looks great got a pretty smooth curve there. We might have to pull some of these vertices down a little bit. Just kind of loosen that up some. But overall that's that's a good look for us. So we want to come in and just shape that a little bit. Make sure that it's it's got enough form. It's not flat. Okay, in those areas. And I believe that looks pretty good. So now in the next lesson what we're going to do is, is we're going to continue blocking out the rest of these and then we'll use uh, some methods uh, for uh, capping those holes and, and getting those gaps taken care of. And then once we have the main body finished we'll start to move into the smaller forms of our backpack and we'll talk about how to use those and create those elements. So I'll see you in the next lesson.